My name is Henry Rodriguez, and uh, today we're basically we're coming by and we're doing the primer stage. We're finishing up the primer stage here on the Brown Image mural. One of the projects that I've been dreaming, wishing, planning, thinking, whatever, to try to get this done to show the, the, the history of the park and the lowriders together. So right now we're at a stage of priming, we're finished, so we got to wait for the next stage. What we're looking at is, uh, it's going to be a beautiful mural because we're looking at doing metal flakes and stuff and color coats and pearlescents and the artists have all kinds of ideas that they want to make this mural look really good for the community and stuff. My name is David, well known for Mr. Bazaar. I'm a lowrider artist, lowrider painter, um, been doing it for about 20 years taking my experiences and, and, and my knowledge and we're gonna use it towards the pillar here at Chicano Park. We're flaking the whole pillar uh, which means is the, the glitter stuff, uh, heavy, heavy flake. That's how the lowriders back in the 70s started and uh, I'm practicing the same art from then now so I'm gonna take that and use it on the pillar. This uh, mural is going to be very unique because um, and it, it won't um, really look like any of the other pillars because we're using entirely um, automobile materials and um, we wanted to, to emulate um, a lowrider car. As you can see the gray walls here, that's the primer. That's just like a car that's been primed and then sanded and cleaned and so now it's it's ready for a gold base which is um, kind of a, you know just a flat gold and then over that we are going to be spraying two coats of flake and this is the, the heaviest flake it's kind of like glitter the heaviest flake that they have and we're going to be throwing that on two two different coats so it's uh, it's going to be kind of exciting the way it will look in, in over a clear uh, transparent, which you'll see the goal from behind. We're working with the museum, the Chicano Park Museum. They have an emphasis in science. So my idea was to include not only the chassis of the car with all of its you know, mechanical parts to it, the engine and the suspension and all that but also include the old school hydraulics as well as the newer the newer type of hydraulics we might even include airbags hi my name is Christina Bambino Christina Castaneda Gonzalez Bambino and I am an artist volunteer here my energy and excitement for that that legacy that take the land back like that that I think is come is evident when people talk to me you know um, I come from animation as far as I used to work at Disney feature animation as a media technology coordinator I used to work at DreamWorks animation as a uh, technology corner at Disney as a media scheduler and as production secretary and so I was taking classes with these animators who were working on thousand drawings of you know 24 pictures per second to get an image you know as a, a frame so I come from it as wanting to be able to learn as much as technique but as well as like what is the community interactions to get things going so I come from a more of a gesture caricature life drawing getting trying to get keep that emotion and that that feeling in the image that I'm trying to create so to create that life so that people can hopefully experience it when they see our my name is Shane Oseguera. Uh, I do business as Pockish, uh, as a pseudonym, artist name. Artist slash muralist, uh, with my involvement being an uh, active painter for the Brown Image mural. I've had uh, my own version of the Chicano experience in Northern California, so being able to just relate to everyone uh, down here, it's something that uh, I'll be forever grateful. The rest of this year, most of my focus is on this mural. Uh, the airbrushing is pretty much 
depicting all the Brown Image Car Club members, some of which aren't with us anymore, so it's really like reviving the dead. And Victor's talked to me about that before, um, especially painting here in Chicano Park. When you're painting portraits of people that are past, it's pretty it's a pretty crazy feeling because then their face is there and, and then people recognize their face and it's just like you're really reviving the dead 